Hi, how are y'all? If you would, give me, let me know. Same old, same old. Let me know if you can hear me. I'm still paranoid. It's not going to work, even though it's done for like the last three weeks straight. Everything's been fine. How is everybody? Uh, some new uh, new names in here. And of course, we got Dan. She's always here. And we've got uh, Nora says hello. And Tori, hey, man. Sounds good. Lights good. Perfect. And Miss Sarah Jane, we missed you yesterday. Well, um, the good doc can't make it today. I kind of, I've been where he's at in a little bit of, it, kind of in his shoes before. He's still traveling. He, we always overestimate or underestimate how much sleep we need versus how much we actually get. <clears throat> and he's still not quite to Wyoming. So it's basically, I just gave an open-ended, uh, an open-ended um, welcome. He's welcome to come back just whenever he gets set. Uh, there's, it's no set, it's nothing set in stone and it's just open-ended. But my channel's blowing up today. Holy crap. It started a couple of day or a couple hours before I went on live yesterday. <clears throat> and by the way, I totally screwed up and cooked myself some baked chicken and ate it right before I came on. And hello, Karen. And ate it right before I came on. And it I know better because it did that, anything just remotely spicy just sticks in my sticks in my 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 throat. Hello, homemade KFC. Nora, I'm doing well. And Sue Aliso, I'm doing well. Oh, here's a new one. Southwest CPNI. Hi, Caleb. Hi, how are you, Southwest? Ernesto Esparza Jr. Hello. There's a lot of new people. Well, that is particularly why I wanted to um, make this. This kind of be a people like... Uh, uh, Karen and uh, <clears throat> oh my gosh, this is driving me bonkers. I'm, I'm no better. And Sarah Jane and uh, Tori and oh Pepe, they're here all the time. They know all this, but there's a lot of new people here. In fact, my numbers aren't though they aren't very high, but for me, they are higher than they normally are. It's a lot of new people that are coming here. I can only presume from the Parker movie. Actually, I know it's from the Parker movie because I'm watching the numbers all day. It's crazy. I don't know. Usually <clears throat> I can tell where all these new people come from because somebody on TikTok posts the Parker movie or somebody on uh, I've even had Instagrammers post the and I don't know how they did it. I thought you could only post like one or minute or 30 second clips on Instagram, but they'll post the whole movie on there. Or some people will cover it on their uh, various YouTube channels and they'll tell me, hey, I came from, you know, Bose's channel. I came from uh, Think Before You Sleep's channel. But Anyways, I wanted to take this opportunity to welcome all the new people, and there I've already seen them in the in the, in the comments. The House Parker, the, there's always going to be the House Parker. How are the kids doing, Kitty? And by the way, I've got a new cat, and she's young, and she's so sweet, and she's still not coming to me, but it just never fails. She goes back there. And shits in her box like she's supposed to and she starts scratching but anyway i get a lot of the house parker how the kids and i want to get that out in the clear so everyone knows as much as i can spread this people ask me that all the time and the short answer is he's great and the kids are great everyone's great that's the short answer i do not talk about their private lives i do not talk about their <clears throat> kitty <laughs> she's so cute She's annoying, but I got her because she's, I like cats. I like how they're annoying they are. I will not talk about their relationships with other people. Uh, personally, I think it would be tacky. I think it would be inappropriate, and I'm not going to do that. Um, but I, I do realize that a lot of people ask, and um, I just want to say welcome to my wacky channel. I My name is Caleb Leverett. I've decided to call this the Recovered Podcast because I am recovered fully recovered from alcohol, among other things. I am Parker's dad, I'm Hayden's dad, I'm Blaine's dad, and I'm London's dad. And I've got no other cheerings. I've had a vasectomy and I'm proud of it. I promote it and I encourage men, young men even, to get vasectomies. And um, I talk about <clears throat> surviving the family courts. 
I talk about sometimes marriages need to end and sometimes people need to get divorces. I don't mix up a bunch of religious hocus pocus and I'm not picking on anyone's religion. I'm fully aware that there are all people from all kinds of backgrounds, which is more particularly why I don't mix all the religion stuff in it, because I still don't know who's right. I was raised in a Christian household. I consider myself a Christian for 34, 35 years until that fateful day, the worst day of my life, which I myself caught on camera called Parker versus the man, which is uploaded uh, nine years ago, two and a half months after the Parker movie. And I try to talk to people, both uh, kids, and I say, I refer to kids as, you know, anyone, Parker's 23 now. Anyone 23 below to me is a kid. Anybody who's gone, kids that go through the divorce and the parents who are raising them. And I tried to help people make sense of it and not make the same mistakes that I made. I made loads of mistakes. Mistake number one was making four children with a woman that I was not compatible with. There's no such thing as, hey, just have another kid. It'll all get better. If it does get better, it wasn't just because you had another kid. Having more children is a poor, poor, poor marriage plan to keep the marriage spark going. It's, it's, it's not fair to the kids. It, it's just not going to work. Um, another thing that I instruct people about is alcoholism. And there's loads and loads of myths about an alcohol about alcoholism. I don't have a degree of any kind, but uh, I have attended colleges, um, UTPB for the doc we had on the other uh, two days ago. Uh, Dr. Aaron uh, Graham came on, and he's going to be coming on again. Uh, he was at teaching at UTPB when his cheerings were stolen from him by gunpoint. So anyway, I don't have a, any kind of degree, but I do have this thing called first-hand experience. First-hand experience with dealing with family courts and first-hand experience dealing with depression and treating it, treating it foolishly, I might add, with alcohol. I will always shit on alcohol. I do not like alcohol. There's no such thing as a good kind of alcohol. There's no such thing as uh, good for the heart twice a day, red wine. That's some bullshit made up by usually a woman blogger has nothing better to do. And she's usually really pretty and she likes holding wine. She probably owns a winery just like many, many, many an A-lister in Hollywood that owns all kinds of this bull crap or the companies that manufacture this crap known as alcohol. There are no health benefits to alcohol. There at best might be some kind of medicinal use for it for certain ailments that only a doctor would be able to really know for sure, of which I am not. But it's just a myth that the alcohol in certain quantities is healthy. It's bullshit. It's all bull. It's all horseshit. There's no such thing as a healthy consumption of regular intake of alcohol. And so I come on here as someone who with firsthand experience having almost two years sobriety coming up uh, July 21st. I don't know. August 21st of this year, July 21st of this year will be five years. Cinco años that I got uh, primary custody of Parker's little brother, Blaine. So I talk about that and that that's a whole new topic and I might get to it today a little bit. I'm not sure. Oh my goodness. So on those topics, I sometimes I put polls for these. Again, I'm talking to newcomers. Sometimes I put polls on my community tab in the, in my community section on my YouTube channel. And I generally will Sometimes I talk about joking things, but generally I talk about things that I've got, again, that I've got personal experience with. Alcohol, um, vasectomy. I've had my vasectomy since 2005, and I'm damn proud of it. Um, uh, what else do I do polls about? Oh, when Roe v. Wade uh, was uh, overturned last week, I'm sure most of you know that by now. I put up polls about that, what are your thoughts about it, and I don't judge or take people's opinions uh personally on stuff like that i want to genuinely want to hear from both sides 
Speaking of both sides on any issue, I am not a Republican and I am also not a Democrat. Uh, for the lay person, for the common person, I'm just, I'm a libertarian. I do not, I don't even support the Libertarian Party. Um, in real life, I am, uh, I'm most, I'm just an anarchist. And no, that does not mean that I go around throwing Molotov cocktails and uh, siding with a bunch of crazed lefty lunatics that don't believe in private property or self-ownership. It just simply means, I just simply believe that we should live in a world without rulers. Rules. There's rules in my house. There always have been rules in my house. Contrary to what some of the myths that have been on my channel. Those kids are just brats and they just want to live with that with their daddy because daddy doesn't have any rules. So that is completely false. Um, and some people may say, well, you're a hypocrite because uh, you say no rulers, yet you're making rules. Well, it's a rule for my house. Um, one of the rules when the kids are little is you can't hit anybody. You just can't hit anybody. If you're frustrated and you can't, we, we, we learned, uh, I taught, taught them how to talk when they would have problems, particularly London was the baby. Uh, they're all two years apart. The last three were born in June. Parker's born in March and they're all two years apart. So he's had three older brothers. So you can only imagine how much the brothers would generally tend to overpower her. Well, in steps, daddy, me. And sometimes, you know, when they're little kids, you know, you just, I taught them you can't hit. And there's no such thing as dirty words or bad words in my house. I teach parents to let your children express themselves because life is painful enough. Why make it any more painful by, no, you can't say that word because this book says it. No, you can't say that word because this book says it. Now, I would teach them that, you know, boys, London, if you drop a bunch of F-bombs and say, God damn it, motherfucker, in front of your teachers or in front of, you know, adults, you're probably going to get people, they're going to look at you funny. And I would teach them why. But just, you know, walk around the house, express yourself. Ah, oh, that fucking thing broke, Dad. You know, I would have got my fucking mouth washed out with, with soap by my mother and or beaten with a fucking belt by my dad. And I just thought, I've always thought that was ridiculous because even the kids who weren't allowed to say it when it was just us and the parents went around, they, everybody talks like that. It's no big deal. So anyways, how y'all doing? And I love taking, uh, here's just like this. I love taking comments and occasionally I do put a link in there where you can call in and uh, I'll take callers, but I have to be careful because I, I, I like talking to people, but um, I like talking to people that really want to discuss things and not people that want to prank me or, you know, get a selfie with me virtually or whatever, something like that, because I'm just a dude and not, I, I feel uncomfortable doing it because I'm just a dude. I'm an introvert, believe it or not. I'm a severe introvert. I guess I'm a recovering introvert. Truth, alcohol is poison. It is. It, it's just flat out, it's poison. Anyone tells you otherwise is either just wanting to party or get in your pants or they're trying to sell you something. That's it. Optimistically cynical. So you are against civil asset forfeiture and eminent domain. Yes. Because last time I checked that was Trump not a lefty. You guys are all bitching about the pi the Keystone Pipeline, that eminent domain. Okay, I will never, you'll never see me praising Trumpy any more than you'll see me uh, praising brain dead Biden or Obama the bomber who won a Nobel Peace Prize after he bombed people or Reagan, the, the gun grabber, uh, AK-47 gun grabbing dude that he was. Uh, bushy, don't even get me started on the 9-11 conspiracies. <gasps> Speaking of conspiracies, have y'all heard of this Georgia Guidestone thing where these Georgia Guidestone uh, rock 
things, these these pillars were like destroyed somehow. I'm curious because it was suddenly all over my Facebook feed. Hey, the Georgia Godstones got blown up. Hey, the Georgia Godstones got destroyed. Hey, the Georgia Godstones got blah, blah, blah. And I'm, I'm racking my brain. The what? The Georgia Guides? Is that a rock and roll band? I honestly had no idea. I have never in my life heard of these things. And so I just put up a, a silly post, which is pretty par for me. I put up silly bullshit stuff a lot. And uh, Tori's heard of it. Tori, I think I saw your, you had a post on there about it. Uh, Michaela Shonk's not heard of it. Um uh, in the news, the Georgia Godstones were blown up. Yeah, I saw that. But have you ever heard of them, Sharon? Because uh, that's what I'm trying to find out. I, I, I can't. And I'm not saying I'm a know-it-all. I'm not. I know there's loads of stuff that I don't know. That's particularly why I like doing this show, because I like talking to people that know things. But I was, ta- I was watching all these people. The normal people who love jumping on conspiracy theories weren't even talking about it, or some of them weren't. And some people were, I was like, they didn't seem to, they maybe heard of it, but didn't know a lot about it. And then some people said, yeah, I've known about it. I've actually seen them in real life. And then even some of my fun conspiracy theorists friends, and by the way, I do love conspiracy theories, but not everything is a conspiracy theory, but I love them. So my happy ass, I've got a, a Facebook friend named Allie. And Allie responded to it and said, she said, here's, you know, she and I've been Facebook friends for years. She said, here's the most comprehensive documentary I've ever seen about the Georgia Guidestones. And it's two hours long. Well, I started it about an hour and a half ago. I'm about, I'm all, I got like 20 or 30 minutes left. And I was like literally watching it, had my headphones on and cooking my chicken. And I just saw those Guidestones and I kept looking at all the pictures. And in the, in this morning, it was just, the Guidestones, you know, old pictures of it. Been apparently been around since 1979 or 1980. But after, you know, just a few hours ago, you, you know, they're getting aerial shots and shows. To me, you know, it shows the the destruction. One of the walls has come down. For those that don't know, it's just a it's a rock uh, headstone made out of granite, and there's four pillars, or there's actually five. There's one in the middle. And there's a flat one and a flat one and a flat one and a flat one. And if you look up like at a cross section from the top, it looks like the swastika or sort of kind of like a swastika. Not fully, but sort of kind of. And to me, it looks like somebody half a mile away, maybe even a mile away, took a a, a, a 50 caliber BGR with a 500 grain bullet. And, and and zeroed in exactly uh, perpendicular to it, not you know, so the bullet didn't do like this and ju- it just bounce off. To me, it looks like that granite thing that had a bullet come to it and go, and it just shattered out one side, uh, made a bunch of cracks. The gravity took over. That's what it looks like to me. And oh my God, the conspiracy theorists that started uh and by the way not all conspiracy theorists get along like or maybe not i mean that's not the right term get along we don't always all agree conspiracy theorists like they're fierce debaters and some of them are in my opinion correct and some of my opinion are incorrect and the more i looked at these georgia guidestones that was the most Again, I've only made it through about an hour and a half of this two-hour documentary. That is the most much about much ado about nothing in modern times as I've ever seen. It's to me, it looks like just some dude, uh, probably a nice guy, just wanted to try his he he spent his life um, thinking, seeking truth, wanted to do something good in the world. Came up with a bunch of uh rules of his own about what he managed to be like and oh my god the fucking conspiracy theorists oh this is satanic oh this is we're for witches uh all oh, that's luciferian talk and oh there's gonna have human sacrifices and blood sacrifices and 
oh, this means that, and this means that. It's the NWO, the New World Order, and the Illuminati is all behind this. And to me, I'm like, oh, God, you are just whoever, this old man that may, apparently he's dead, died shortly after 2000. He, <laughs> he's just a, I hate to say silly, but he's probably a good guy, I'm my guess. He's probably a, a good guy. He just had some silly thought. I'm a silly person. I'm not saying he's, he was, I'm not talking shit about him, but he's probably not even a very rich person. He came into some kind of money because I was watching that documentary. They said it took like 40 or 50 grand after they bought the land to put it all up because it was made like, you know, 50 years ago, 40 years ago, 19, 1979 and 80. There's not a whole, there wasn't a whole lot of technology in this. I mean, they bought five acres of land. They cleared it out. They put a foundation in the bottom. I don't know anything or very much about quarry work and working in granite, but even back then there, there's people that were um, really good at that sort of thing. And they, um, it wouldn't have been that there's not, it's, it's not that complicated to me. I've been in the oil field my entire life. And I've seen way more complicated things than that. That's just big rocks measuring, you know, had a few holes drilled in it. Yeah. Find true North, true South, magnetic North, magnetic South. Have a few carvings for from the the solar uh, the summer equinox, and you can find out the longest day, and some some words that some guy just made up, and it's just like another religion to me. Anyways, it was said to be hit by lightning. Talk of a D a E W a, a direct energy weapon. Maybe so. It might have been a do because the do's. Are, Apparently is what burned down California a couple years ago. Just found, uh, found, just found you just now and just subscribed. That's from Zulu West 12. Well, hello, Zulu West 12. And there's Tammy. She and I have been Facebook friends for forever. The county owns the land they sit on. Yes. Apparently it was deeded to, uh, when after the old man who went through the banker, got it all done, he had it deeded to, uh, at Emberton, Em. Something Amber starts with an E. Amberton, Ambleton, Ambleton County. Cats and Americans love their conspiracy theories. Yes, we do. And some of them are crap, like this one. This was an old man that he just wanted to have some mystery, and by golly, let him have his mystery. I think it's great. And for somebody to shoot it down. It's probably, in my opinion, somebody who's not all there, probably loves uh, somebody in the sky, believes in something they can't prove exists anyways, and thought it was going to be like the magic these people dream up. It's it's okay to dream up magic, like J.K. Rowling. Oh, I love her. I just love her mind. She's got a beautiful mind. She comes up with this badass story called Harry Potter. And writes all these books about it, makes all these cool movies about it. And nobody takes it seriously, which is just the way it's supposed to be. I don't know why people take some of these things so seriously. You watch this documentary. It's got this suspenseful music and these words like in a trance. And they got the, the suspenseful music and use words like a trance. And then uh, it's very sinister. They use that word sinister and they throw the word sinister around. And sure enough, people in my in my Facebook, <laughs> it's, it's really sinister. Only 500 million people are allowed to be in the earth. Uh, what are you going to do, kill everybody? Oh, yeah, that's exactly what it said. It's not what it said. It's not what it called for. Maybe he wrote it supposedly in some writings of after it. It's just a guy with a theory. Maybe the world would be healthier. Maybe we'd all live to be 500 years old if there was this perfect balance. Who knows? But he's not calling for genocide. I mean, there's plenty of assholes with mustaches that get elected to presidents and um, czars and heads of state all over in this, the world and history that love causing wars and dropping bombs on people. There's plenty of that we don't need anymore. Listen to me. I'm running my mouth. Robert Duncan. Here's my conspiracy. Conspiracy theory. My dog steps on a beat. Do y'all really want to talk about Johnny Depp trial? Come on. Oh, no. I don't want to. London is uh, 17. 
Officer Tegan Gaming. Hi. You got this? Is that supposed to be like an emoji? Um, thanks, man. Uh, I've never... Karen Vanderfort. Van, Van Kent Fort. You blasphemer. You've never seen Harry Potter? No, I don't feel bad. I was 40... One years old before I ever saw my very first Harry Potter. When Harry Potter came out, like in 2000, I don't know, one or two, like, or, or it was in the early 2000s, I think. I don't think it's 99. My kids, I was just, I was, I was pop, we were popping out kid after kid after kid, and they were too little to, for Harry Potter. I mean, it was, it was already huge by the time they were born. And so I never watched it. And then I wound up uh, meeting a woman online named Chardet, who y'all have seen in the uh, comments before. And we're just really good friends now. And uh, she's a Harry Potter junkie. And she's the one who got me into Harry Potter. We can talk about Harry Potter. I'm not an expert, but I can sure hang with some of the experts, some of the best. Ryan, Columbus Day should be called Erickson Day. The man who really did first find America and didn't have innocent blood on his hands. Was his name Erickson? I have no idea. Yeah. Columbus discovered it first for a particular country, particular group. He wasn't the founder. He didn't make it up. He didn't invent America. He discovered it for the Spanish, I believe. But the thing is, there are already people living here. They discovered it God knows how many generations before that dude. Zulu S12. Harry Potter is epic. Need to watch... All of the film. Yes, all eight glorious, wonderful Harry Potter films. I love them all. And if you watch uh, The Prisoner of Azkaban while dropping acid, oh my God, the colors are absolutely oh, banging. It's so amazing. Uh, do so responsibly. Actually, I'm not recommending that at all. Which for Willow, what? You have to see Harry Potter. Yes. Yes. Have you seen it? Have I seen what? I never been a big Harry fan of Harry Potter. Why not? It's a beautiful love story. I mean, it, that's what it really is. You know, again, that's a Harry Potter is a fine example of how wacky human beings who've got this idea that this late god with spikes coming out of his head and he's red suit and a devil's horn is that it's all witchcraft well i mean it is, it is about witchcraft but that's part of the story they've got this crazy idea that if you read harry potter you're going to go to hell and it's bull crap that's a conspiracy theory that is bunk junk it's just crap it, it it's not real and the, as much as they want it to be real it's not it's as fake as the religion they are basing their philosophy on uh no c17 mm. snyder style this man resonates because male children have been victimized by divorced females for decades yes that's very true uh, with the passage of Title 4D funding of the Social Security Act in about 1972, coincidentally, was right around the time that uh, Roe v. Wade happened. And Title 4D funding, yeah, that's where he comes, that's where these decades, is, it, 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 it pays federal dollars to state attorneys general's employees, their, it pays their uh, like 70 cents on the dollar. For every dollar they collect, the, the the employees of the AG, for every dollar they collect in cheer and support, child support. Yes, I call child or children. I say cheering. I got that from Rush Limbaugh. Um, I, I don't, it just stuck. I've, I used to listen to it when I was a kid, and I, I can't help it. I just say it without even noticing it. Cedric supremacy. Cedric Diggory. That's a hell of a. Uh, um, Autocorrect you got there. Cedric Diggory. If you're talking about Cedric from Harry Potter, it's Cedric Diggory. Or maybe you're just a Cedric Diggory fan and you say, yeah, Cedric Supremacy. I've never seen Harry Potter. I'm kind of against stories that may not be real. Oh, well, there's lots of things I can show you that there's no proof are real that millions and millions of people say it absolutely is. But 
we really need to do the film club. Dan and I agree. And I know, you know, I wish, I wish on polls, I can, all, I can put as many answers in my polls, but like, for instance, what, if we were to do a film club, go watch this film and come back to me tomorrow and we'll all talk about it. I would come up with the films that I like, you know, Harry Potter, um, um, Robert Duvall's, um, God, I hate these brain farts and I get them. The old Western with Robert Duvall, help me out here. Lonesome Dove or Anne of Green Gables. I think I'd lose a lot of people on that. I mean, I'd probably lose a lot of the dudes. A lot of the chicks would love it because it's kind of a chick flick, but I don't care. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, but I think we do. I don't know. How, I wish in that if I'd put a. I wish. Well, I guess I can. I can just say I can give my favorites and then whoever wants to in the comments, put your favorite movie and we'll, I'll just kind of make a tally and whoever would like to participate. Uh, maybe I'll do a, a private live with for you know only those people or something like that. I don't know. I think it'd be fun though. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Jason, you know what time it is? Uh, that's right. It's time for me to get my wrench. Okay, man. I don't know what that means. Hi, Regina. Have you ever seen Fantastic Beasts? Yes, I did. The first time I watched it, um, it was the that was about a year or two before I quit drinking. Um, I must admit, with as with a lot of people, and I've even talked to Sade about this, I had the expectation it was going to be a Harry Potter continuation, so to speak, and and sort of, kind of is, sort of, but not really. But I've I've and she even told me she didn't like it at first, and she's the biggest. Like, there's nobody on earth, not even J.K. Rowling knows more about Harry Potter than Charday. I promise you that. Um, maybe if anyone does, J.K. Rowling would be the only one. But anyways, she said, and, and I think she's right. I'm, I have them, and I own them on their own merit, on their own story. They are they are a great story. I didn't haven't finished them. I'm not sure I'm going to finish them now that Warner Brothers canned Johnny Depp. I might just do it out of protest, like, fuck you for, you know, canning an innocent man. Hmm, I see. Y'all grew up on Harry Potter. I grew up on Star Wars, classic Disney movies, PBS Kids, and Cubo. I know what that is. I know about Harry Potter and watched a few episodes, but I want to get into it. Dude, this is gen. I'm not even a big, big, big book reader. I've read, you know, some books, but I don't read like constantly and daily. I'm on Prisoner of Azkaban, and I have, I've, I've started from the, the books. I have read the first four. I think Prisoner of Azkaban. No, I'm on. Shit, I don't even know what that. Anyway, I think I'm on book five. I think. It, when I first started watching the movies, I actually read the entire book and then I watched the movie. And I can truly say that the books genuinely are. The movies are awesome, but the books genuinely are so much better. I highly recommend the book as well. We need Discord for the film club. Somebody's gonna have to have to educate me on. I gotta catch up on what Discord is. I've heard of it. And I know a lot of YouTubers use it. Oh, Lawson Danley, this sucks. I'm so sorry you don't like it, Lawson. Uh, adios. Don't watch it then. Zulu West Twelve. I love Disney film. Yeah, I'm not much of a Disney person, but so Haggard's mom was a giant, and his dad was described as a short human. Uh, how in the world was he conceived? The latter and a lot of imagination. Yep. Um, maybe he just went diving, just lubed up and just topped on in. Charday, what are you doing here? Are your ears burning? That's her. She's the one. Where's she at? Right, right there. She's basically J.K. Rowling incarnate. What the fuck is that thumbnail? Um, I forgot what thumbnail. Oh, yeah, that's a picture of that Parker and I got uh, about three or four years ago. No, four. Yeah, about four years ago. Uh, we were out farting around, like doing garage sale stuff out in Gardendale, Texas. And there was this funny little house type thing. It was like 
I don't know if they made it for kids or just a, a, as a joke, but it just said jail or jailhouse. And I'd just gotten out of jail. Well, no, I'd been out of jail a few years, but I was, yeah, that's right. I was going through the Blaine stuff at the time. And I just thought, Hey, we got to get a picture of this. Yeah. You know, cause people tried to shame me for going to jail. Like as if I thought I actually did something wrong when I didn't. And so I used it as kind of like a reverse fuck you. Um, look, I'm just joking about me in jail. It doesn't bother me at all. Or I'm not ashamed of it anyways. It bothers me, but. Crystal Vasquez. Yes, Johnny Depp trial was rather interesting, to say the least. It was. It was. Uh, I didn't get in nearly into it as a lot of people do. Uh, I, I am a fan of Johnny for doing the things that so many of us wished we could do. He kind of flipped the script. Uh, but at the same time, I think eventually the clickbaiters just go too far with it and then it gets kind of like annoying. Michaela Shonk. Michaela Shonk. My favorite movie is Spider-Man No Way Home. Hayden's. That's Hayden's favorite, I think. Silent Origami. I remember you. You. I remember your little kitty there with the pretty blue eyes. Jason, my moderator wrench. Um, I don't haven't made you a moderator. Dead Poet Society. I think I saw that a long time ago. Damn, these holy crap. There's a lot more people in here than usual. I'm way behind. How long have you been here, Sade? Order of the Phoenix. Oh, yeah, that's the one with all the light. Yeah. She busts my balls about tripping on acid i don't think she likes it but that's just tough it's fun and done it a long time but looking forward to doing it again because it doesn't ruin your health and you get to see so much color and it's so beautiful and it opens your mind you can like solve quantum physics and shit on it or you think you can it's awesome <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite game um as in like video game i don't have one i don't play video games um i like to play Let's expose the crooked judge. That's that's a fun game to me. How many crooked judges can you expose? Lily McCoy, I love how you deal with hate. It's amazing. Well, thank you, Lily. Um, I try. I acknowledge that there's a lot of people that do not like me. I happen to think there's probably proportionately many, many more that actually do support. Maybe not me personally, but my activism and what I did uh, to bring awareness of how what bullshit the family courts are. A lot of people say, oh, my gosh, that's the most I can't believe that's that's the cruelest thing I've ever seen. That Parker movie. I can't believe that actually happens. I'm like, and any of the commenters who've been through it, they're like all the time. And I'm like, yeah, this is the, that's something that happens all the time, every day in every town, in every state in the union and and even in the world, because parental alienation does not just stop at the U.S. borders. I know people and. Australia and all over Europe that it happens to as well. But anyways, um, there's, where was I going with that? I get off on those tangents. Oh, she is literally was saying, I love handle my hate. Yeah. So anyway, I know there's haters that can't believe that that happens, but I tell people all the time, what happened to us is not unique, not by a long shot. I just happened to catch it on camera. That's it. Michaela shook on that one let's watch it together i'll buy you food and okay that's just kind of creepy dude cali boy eloy do you believe in jesus sir uh no i believe there's a really cool story written about this amazing if he was real but this amazing man this amazing activist who was um Probably, well, the most successful activist in history because we're here we are 2,000 years later and we, we still talk about him, but people actually worship him. But no, I used to, but I don't. What's your favorite thing to do in downtime? Um, this kind of is my downtime, believe it or not. I, I enjoy doing this. There's an old saying, if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. And this is fun. I don't make a lot of money off this, but and no, if you're going to ask, I'm not going to tell you how much I made off the park of movie. It's believe it's not that much. I think it's really rude when people ask me that. Okay, let's, yeah, exactly. Yeah, dude, don't hit on people in here. That's just gross. Discord is an app, and you can, send, you can set an invite by code. 
and it's like Skype, but better. Zulu West 12. Um, man, I haven't used Skypes in like literally 10 years. I didn't even know people still use Skype. Dorian Mavery. I like the movie Training Day with Denzel Washington. Um, I don't know that one. Good God almighty. Like they are coming fast. Um, y'all are, I'm clicking on stuff that's like old and I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to catch up here. How about a poll for genres? Comedy, horror, sci-fi, etc. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we can start with that. You know, if we're going to do a book or a movie club, do you want to start in the comedy section, horror section? Uh, maybe your stand up. Maybe. Okay, y'all are talking to each other. Here's somebody. I don't, okay, I, um, I've seen your videos for years. You are the strongest man I know. I would have maybe just give up, but you did not give up. I have a family now, and I feel you, man. Cali boy Eloy. Uh, well, thank you. Um, I appreciate that. I don't take compliments very well, but thank you. Discord is also like Zoom. I've only used Zoom once. I've seen people use it. Uh, in fact, Judge Billings, that's probably where I watched the most Zoom, her court, while the pandemic was happening. I'll just have to play with it. <laughs> Speaking of not understanding apps, I watched a clip the other day, this morning, of old Mike Tyson. Y'all know I love Mike Tyson, watching old Mike Tyson fights. He got stumped. He was interviewing somebody, I don't know who it was, and they were talking about DMs, sliding in DMs, and he didn't have a fucking clue what that meant, and it was the funniest thing to watch him figure it out. What do you mean? What do you mean slide in DMs? What do you mean slide in? You date him on the app? You know, I can't talk like he does, but they were busting his balls, and it was funny to watch. He goes, I said, damn, Mike, are you really not on Instagram? He goes, oh, shit, I don't know to turn the fucking thing on. <laughs> So he apparently does not run his own Instagram, but it was, I thought it's funny. Why are you skipping my skipping me, Isaiah TV? Um, I just didn't see you. Nothing personal because I don't know. I don't know you, Officer Tegan Gaming. I love your videos. Well, thank you very much. What are you drinking? I hope it's water. It is. It's pure H two O. I don't know how else to show you to prove it, but just water. This is, though, one of my old my old booze cups that had lots of ice and lots of vodka and gin and uh, cutting material like pineapple juice or apple juice or something go through. Just water. It was full when I started here, and it's almost empty. In 40 minutes, if that was pure gin, I'd be drunk as shit, I promise you. Uh, Dragon Dynamite. I was joking. I wanted to see reaction because when I see when I seen you say what the fuck, this has a lot of cuss words. It was live. It was in a live of you when you put the caption reading most hateful comments. Uh, not quite following you on there, but yeah, I do cuss not a lot, a lot, but I do. Um. And I do love reading my hate comments. I invite my haters on. In fact, last two Saturdays in a row, for my newbies that are here, last two Saturday lives in a row. I don't normally go live on Saturday, but I made room for this one troll named Backwards Brian. And he couldn't come on the show during the week because he has got a real job, unlike me. And so he's a an avid hater. He says he's not a hater, but he's a hater. He's, his true colors came out in the comment section a couple days later after his own videos on there. They're having a conversation, and he looks a little tipsy to me. Don't have any way of proving that, but yeah, I love having my haters. I've got two or three avid haters that are on here, like it have been for like pretty hard the last six months or a year. And they will never, ever, ever email me to come on here and debate me, ever. They're strictly here. They think they're going to take me down and convince the people in the comment section that I'm a liar that I'm trying to hide shit and I addressed everything they've ever brought up and they will not come on and show their face because they're all cowards. So yeah, I don't run from people that post shit about me and I mean, there's no one's more has been harder on me than myself about truth. How old is Parker now? He is 23. 
Caleb's 47. You look 43. No, I'm 45. Rendon Williamson just recently made first in my bull riding competition, and you're part of my motivation. Life isn't perfect, but it's sure worth it. Badass, dude. Hell yeah. I'll be honest. Full disclosure. When I was a kid, I used to tease bull riders. They'd call them bull riders. Bull riders. I thought they are all dumb. And truth be known, I think they stole a girlfriend or something, and I was just bitter. And Parker is not a bull rider, but he's been getting into uh, saddle bronc riding. And apparently there's a big difference in, no, no, no. Okay, hang on. There's saddle bronc riding and ranch bronc. He's into ranch bronc. And I always get those confused. And apparently there's this massive difference, but only saddle bronc or ranch bronc riders actually know what the difference is. It's a handle on there. It's a saddle that's made only for riding broncs. And then ranch bronc is just, you know, you put your own saddle on there. But anyway, he's gotten big into it. But that's cool, dude. It's a, I, you got balls, dude, to get on those things. They're, they weigh, you know, damn near twice as much as uh, some of the bigger, even bigger horses. The horse is already big enough to kill you. Those bulls whew, just don't get Lane Frost, man. But thanks, man. That's cool. Uh, stay motivated. Stay in shape. Stay off the fucking booze. Uh, stay in the gym. Stretch. Do your stretches. There is a cowboy uh, YouTuber who is also into fitness. And it's been a few months since I've seen it. I was telling Parker about it. He'd never heard of him because I'm Blaine's gotten me into lifting and getting in shape. And then now Hayden's living here and all three of us all go to the gym all the time. We're all getting in shape. And then Parker is like, God damn, dad. Like he's, I saw, showed him my before and after pictures. I got lost 35, 36 pounds. He's like, damn, you look good. And I said, yeah, you need to get your little skinny fat. He's not fat, but I said, get your little skinny fat ass in gear. And get on it, man. This I feel amazing. So anyway, he wait, he's getting on it. And I'm trying to find that YouTuber. And I always, every time I talk about it or bring it up, I always forget to go look it up. But anyway, Brandon Williams, cool, man. That's a cool story. I like it. He's 23. Uh, Heather Michaela, I say Caleb for president. No, 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 no. I do not want that job. Caleb, you look 20. No, I know better than that. You're just being kind, Michaela, but thank you. Is Parker well from Pumpkin? Oh, another kitty. I just love your kitty shot. The dual color eyes, so beautiful. I guess one's a reflection, but still. Uh, yeah, he's great. I just don't talk about their personal lives. He's absolutely doing great. There are some things that are in the works, and as soon as it's public knowledge, I cannot wait to talk about it. But uh, he's doing great, as well as are all his siblings. Everyone's doing well. Tori, there's now a video of the Guidestone explosion. It's really odd. Fireball in the air. Really? Hmm. I don't know if you were on at the beginning, Tori. To me, it looks like someone took a, like, pretend that's a 50 grain, 50 or 100, 500 grain, 50 caliber bullet. To me, it looks like this. And then gravity took over and collapsed the rest. That's what it looks like to me, but I haven't watched it that far. ATV feed 45. See what I mean? Yep. He's great, man. He is great. Caleb for prime minister. No, 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 no. Y'all are kind and you're silly, but no, only one fell. Oh, one of the stones. Yeah. I saw that out of the four outer propped up ones. Only one got shattered. I think I read that there's, you know, those four outer walls, there's printed, uh, the printed, whatever they call them, the commandments or whatever they're calling them on each side, and they're on eight different languages. I'd be curious as to which wall that blew up uh, was which language on each side. If anybody knows, that would be interesting. My dad is 68. Okay. Caleb, I think Back to Blue is your biggest fan. This man on every channel you talked about and ranting, love that does not, love does that to a person. Yeah, I think Back to Blue's got a secret fetish for my sexy heinies, I think. I can, uh, can I see your cat, please? Um, maybe. Actually, she like hangs out behind this. That's a, that's a, that's not a, it's a wall, but it's a, hang on, that's, Yes, I'm going to try. I did get her earlier, but I can't keep her long. So hang on just a second. Kitty. 
committee. Well, she's not in the spot that she's usually in 90% of the time. Either she's out exploring already or one of the boys snagged her up and they're petting her. But one of these days, she's coming around. I've only had her about a week, and she's way more friendly. She never was not friendly. She was just real scared. But she's way more – she'll let us she'll let us let it just to hold her a lot more. But, you know, I just got her up here for the first time today in front of the – you know, she doesn't like sunlight for some reason. It's like it, anytime there's light, she just like freaks out. And so she was freaking out at the light on the computer. But today she she looked at it and it didn't make her freak out. So eventually, hopefully, she's going to be up here walking across the camera and annoying the piss out of me. Because I love it when cats do that. Dragon Dynamite. I'm talking about when you went live on YouTube. I don't remember what day or what every day it was but i remember you went live trying to see if there were assholes i think i remember that i think i know what your dog was that was it a real blurry picture a real blurry i think i was in my sailboat and i was there was a a, a whole bunch of like i like an excessive amount of haters all at once and i just wanted to read the comments i think i know what you're talking about uh chrissy chris hey caleb hello chrissy chris The camera switches at the explosion, and it may be a street light. Uh, maybe. The English one? The English one the one that blew up? That's the most satanic one, I guess. Concerned commenter. Uh, thanks. I thought it was both. Dang, I wish it were both. I'm not sure. But you all know I mean. Okay, what time is it? It's 7.51 right now for me. It is 8.52. You must be in central time, Michaela. Hello, Connor P. Gaming. It's going well. This is fun. Ryan, is the dog from the kid's new dog still alive? It was 10 years ago after all. His name is Riggs, and I don't know. That's a good question, Ryan. Uh, Riggs was my dog. I actually got him when Samantha and I were married, so probably 2010, 2011. So if he is still alive, he's 12 or so. But when I went to jail, I was living in the camper, and it was just miserable because I felt terrible because I, I, he's a he's a, you know and a big dog. But he liked to, he needed air, he needed places to run. I needed to take care of him. And uh, anyway, I went to jail and I let my sister keep him. And they lived in the mountains in Ritos in New Mexico at the time with her kiddos. Out like they lived like on a mountain in my parent one of my parents' houses and. Um, after I got out, she said, Kayla, I'm sorry to tell you, but you can't have your dog back. And I said, Haley, I was going to tell you, I want my dog back, but I know I can't take my dog back. He probably fell in love with the kids, right? She said, yes, and that's why you can't have him back. I said, it's more fair for him to stay up there and get to play with those kids every single day and run through the mountains. And so I've never seen him since. So, um, it's kind of sad because I miss old Riggsy boy. I just read that they got rid of the rest of them after one was destroyed. I would have to see that to believe it. Hmm. Yeah, that that would be an awfully quick, hasty decision to you know go ahead and blow them all up. Uh, for my free time, I play hidden. I play hidden object games. It helps my brain. Okay, I don't know what that how, what that is, but okay. Uh, concerned commenter. Uh, Tammy T, yeah, it makes me wonder what the global elite plan to replace them with, you know? Like, really? They've already blown up the other three pillars? That doesn't... I mean, the dust hasn't even hardly settled. They're already pulverizing the rest of them? I don't know. That's sad, but happy for the dog. Yeah, um... I know I'm pretty sure he missed me because I used to FaceTime him occasionally and he'd perk up. But no, I couldn't I couldn't drag him away from that to come back. It was just me. And then I was going to San Antonio all the time back then and the kids were getting big. And I just I'm too I was too poor and I didn't have any room for him. It was, it was sad. Uh Dragon Dynamite. Also, I do think you're a good parent. I watched the video of the mother and your son in the car. When he didn't want to 
because of the abuse, or at least he was being treated very wrongly, so I'm thankful. Okay, well, uh, well, thank you for that. I, I tried to be a good parent. I wasn't perfect. Screwed up a lot. Like stay drunk for seven years. No, I don't don't recommend. I'm thankful you saved your son from all that bullshit. Well, thank you. I'm glad I did too. I have no regrets on doing that part. I have a 15 year old dog. Says Ryan. She's still a fighter. The dog has been by my side since kindergarten. She makes me very nostalgic about the old days. Hold on to it, man. Like, write down some of these feelings and these memories you've got. Take lots of pictures with your dog because you're going to look up and you're going to be my age. You're going to be like, Jesus Christ, that seems like yesterday, but at, all, at the same time, it seems like a, a millennia ago. Joe Barnett, where is that one guy that didn't have a debate against you from the other night? I think someone said uh, Kentucky. I assume you're talking about backward Brian. I think I think I remember either he told me or somebody else told me. I don't know. I thought they said um, uh, uh, Kentucky, but I really don't know for sure. Sorry about that. I thought you play, but I guess you don't. My bad. It's okay. The boys do, it's particularly Hayden. Um, honestly, I should know, but I don't. Um, I think it's Call of Duty, COD, and, I don't, and as to which Call of Duty, I have no idea. When they're littler, Blaine, like when he was like 10 and 12, his favorite was Grand Theft Auto. Oh, my God. God, that is some raunchy shit. I used, to, I used to laugh my ass off watching him play that. He just learned to talk shit. And <laughs> it's so funny watching this fucking 10, 11 year old talking shit playing Grand Theft Auto. Hey, Dad, watch this. <laughs> Tori makes you wonder if they ever wanted them destroyed and they did it to blame the conspiracy theory people or anti NWO people. Probably. Yeah, kind of like a false flag deal, probably. I don't think there's ever anything behind it. I think if whoever did it was either it was planned to be a false flag on somebody else or it was some religious crazy dude that just thought, you know, Satan's going to jump out of the stones or something, come slaughter them all. McCandless, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be on here much longer. I just got upset at my brother. Okay, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Hello, T loud good lord okay well, don't leave kayla and everyone here okay all righty well um i'm i'm sure i know i've missed a bunch of stuff anyways 58 minutes 27 seconds um I think for realio tomorrow the the good doc's gonna be back he's really I, I kind of didn't think he was going to be back yesterday because he was in between the East Coast and I think Wyoming, which is where he's from. That is a long drive. But uh, I think I think he's going to be back tomorrow. All right, hang on, let me get to this. Mike Oxlong, remarkable just seeing the custody video with you and your son. You're an excellent father for helping your son. Well, thank you, Mike. How'd you, how'd you find it? I'm just curious. Oh, it's okay. I may not able to anyways uh, doozer one thing that perplexed perplexed me in your videos is that parker openly in front of cops said abuse was going on at mom's house and nothing was done yep me too same thing happened with blaine i i'd i'd followed cps stuff with blaine nothing nothing came of it Uh, that's real funny for what you said about something about Grand Auto Grand Theft Auto 5. The video came up in my suggested page. Okay. Well, good deal. Um, unfortunately, way too many people have been through that. Um, Karen, I think I am going to turn it out. We're right at the hour mark, and I'm just going to try to go. I went for like an hour and 40 minutes yesterday, and it kind of, Made my throat itch a little bit. So, so not okay. Team Parker. All right. I like that. We'll end on Team Parker. Um, if you do get anything about, especially the regulars, if you do get anything out of these and you enjoy listening to them, 
if anybody you know goes has gone through the bullshit family court uh, or is struggling with alcohol and they think you you know why not and you know try to listen to this guy he's a little different he's a little out there but you know he is into non-violent parenting and guns at the same time so he's a strange combination of, of all of it um if you would send my videos to it uh to your friends or family whoever's in it if you are in the comment section at the moment before you go would you do me a big favor if you do appreciate this give me a thumbs up if you hated it give me a thumbs down because it doesn't really matter to me i if you if you hadn't noticed uh, for the newbies i embrace my haters here with open arms so Anyways, tomorrow, I'm about 90% sure the good doc will be here, and we're going to finish our continuation on our mutual frenemy, the attorney from Odessa, Texas, my own attorney, Gavin Norris. It's going to be interesting. Y'all have a good one, and don't hit your cheerings. Bye.